Hey guys, welcome to Ace Designs 107. I'm the Ace in the Carpack and you're the Kings and Queens. Today, what I've for you guys is a Photoshop tutorial going over the um, effect that you can see on screen. Now, the difficulty for this tutorial will be out of three out of five stars and the duration that it will take will be around 10 to 15 minutes. It's really not that long. It's really easy. Um, all you have to do is add some lighting effects and some backings and then sweet, you're sweet to go. Now, all the things that you'll need for this tutorial will be in the description below including the stocks that I used um, and the YouTube template so you that's all you really need for this tutorial so let's get straight into it and without further ado make sure you go check out my social links okay so the first step for the tutorial is to open up Photoshop and what you're gonna do is go down to the the description below and you are going to go and download the YouTube layout template it will be clearly named that for you guys to download click the links and you'll be able to get this PSD file that you've seen on screen now now what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go to file open or control O and I'm going to open up my render now if you would like to learn how to make this render make sure that you go down and check out my most recent tutorial other than this one and yeah I've basically made a tutorial showing you how to make this you guys have given me incredible support for that tutorial so this is why I'm making up a follow-up tutorial okay so I'm going to drag on this render on my document and I'm gonna close it because we don't need that anymore and I'm going to kind of find a good position like this so I get that little lizard I've got some phase logo action happening and it's looking pretty good now if we press ctrl T let's see if we can resize this to the whole size of the document and let's see if we can make this work something like that I guess I don't think that that would be able to do like let's just say that we can do I think this is a really good size something like this maybe I want to get some of those windows the train now I'm gonna press ctrl A and I'm gonna center this and then I'm gonna press ctrl T again and just bring that up just to make sure that I've got a good centered document okay so the next thing is to make it blend into the background so I'm gonna to go to my banners presets and see what I have here hopefully that this one will be able to work without texturing I use this a lot and if you would like to have these images um, just go down to the description below and I'll make a new document and I'll drag everything what I use for this tutorial onto there so you guys will be able to grab it yourself okay so now I'm gonna drag this below my render the usual routine and I'm gonna start blending the render so I'm going to press E on my keyboard for the eraser tool and the settings that I'm going to be using is 500 pixels and a hardness of 0 percent and I'm just going to simply go around on the edges and you can go just drag your mouse up and down and something like this should be able to work and bam we've got that really nice blend in action going on here okay so the next thing is to make a new layout and I'm going to try and experiment with some things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a green color or something like this you know maybe a little bit more vibrant green like that green and then I'm going to paint over all here okay then I can change this um, to blending mode to color and look what we have here we've changed that black into a color and we're getting some really nice little things like this going on and bam we've got like this little already blending happening on with the um, ferns and everything now if we press E on our keyboard and let's see if I can get rid of this rock because that isn't really working in our favor and look how much of a big difference that does from not having the rock to having that rock see bam doesn't really blend that well take away the rock and it just looks like it's coming out of the image you know yeah it just really does make a difference and maybe we can come out like this but I'm really liking how that looks right now 
Okay guys, sorry for stopping the recording, I pressed a button and it kind of changed the color settings to it. I don't know what this button always does, it always messes up when I'm doing a tutorial. Um, so I'm going to get it back into it and yeah, hopefully these guys will enjoy it. So I'm going to go again over my logo and this time I'm going to do it a little bit more accurately. Just because I do want to make sure that this is going to turn out as a nice effect because quite possibly I could end up putting this in my portfolio because of I really personally do like this effect and really you guys have been smashing out the tutorial for the Cinema 40 parts so I do think other people will like it so I might might include it okay bam 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 and all I'm doing is going over the top of this logo face with the pen tool and hopefully I can get something quite nice and accurate. Make selection, bam, bam, bam. Okay, that's not too bad. And if I go to the opacity now, if I right click, do blending options. Okay, so now if I make this a foreground color, I'm just trying to experiment here. Right click, go to blending options. And if I go to inner, shadow okay sweet and if we bring up the size bring up the um choke and the distance and we want to kind of follow the lighting in the scene so i think that the lighting you could say is coming from this side and bring it down the something like that I think we'll do fine and if we go to the gradient overlay bring up the scale bam 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 And we're just messing around with the settings here, as you can see. Um, I can't really teach you this stuff. Like, it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? Like, to commentate over the shit. Okay, so now if I go to the pattern overlay, um, I will be able to add in some noise and with this noise um, Just go to the opacity and something like that. It kind of just gives it a little bit of texture or something like this, I guess um, Because of the like the textures on the sides you can see that there is some noise So something like this and we can do give it a Drop shadow. I guess we can try this no, it's not really going to work, I guess. We could try and do an outer glow. Okay, something like that. If we try to give it a green outer glow. Try to give it a good vibe, you know what I mean? Um, you can turn all that out of glow. It looks fine. And if I take off this layer, look at that difference. Um, it gives it the kind of a more of a shadow, you could say. And what I'm going to do here is, you can see this little bit here. It's kind of overlapping here. So if there's something that um, with your render that's quite wrong, and you want to make a change with that, all you have to do is you can make a pen tool selection like this. make selection press ok make a new layer above this and then grab your brush tool okay bump down the size of this brush tool let's just say 30 make your foreground and make sure that it's a soft brush 
and also bring down the opacity something like this and you can start to shadow in um, you know the logo around that mask and bam we've got something like this so guys that is it for today um, I did like a rant for 20 minutes on what I can do to this image but I just came back to it and said yeah it looks the best without as without too many stocks on it um, it really does I recommend trying to keep your design simple and simplistic because simplicity is more when it comes to graphics design especially in the modern era so I really do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to hit that like button and comment below because I'll be sure to get back to you guys with all the questions that you have um, also just a general interaction just say hey how are you I'll respond what's up um, so yeah guys have a great day um, hope that you'll be able to make this tutorial by yourself watching this tutorial and yeah see you later